Hello you, welcome back. Today we are playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition Part 8. <laughs> hey, at least I'm out of the Citadel. You gotta give me that. <laughs> it's so bloody hot. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hey you, welcome back. So, where did we left off? Oh, right, my really nice parking uh, job. <laughs> okay, um, shall we just explore a bit before we go? Oh, what's that? Locked crate? All right, let's see. Okay, override successful. Ooh, some new weapons, always nice. What's inside? Shall we check it out? You never know. It might lead to nothingness, but if we don't try, we'll never know, right? Okay, oh, <laughs> well, guess there's nothingness. Great, okay, um, let's go down. It's so bloody hot in the Netherlands, guys. I am freaking dying, <laughs> dying, I'm really dying. <laughs> My Viking jeans can't handle all of this, so really I'm like, oh, but you know, it's fine. We're uh, managing it. Let's see, is there anything here? Oh, there's a baddie. I saw you! Oh my god! That was me! Please die! Oh, I'm dying. Okay, where's my shotgun? I wanna heal, I wanna heal, I wanna heal! Heal! Jesus. You fucking kill yourself! Oh my gosh. Ah, <sighs> he was out of nowhere. Oh shit, let me just do this. Whew. He was just there, like, my gosh, asshole. Okay, what's this, gate control? Huh. Ooh, we got a shortcut? Okay, that's good, anything here? Let me get you. No, I want my pistol, oh shit. I want my pistol, I like my pistol. Okay, can we, okay, I'm healing up already, good. That was, I saw him in my little compass, but I still wasn't prepared for him. A jerk. Okay, anything. So we check these two. So we got a shortcut for there, but we also see something over there. So we're gonna check that out as well. Let me see. Is there anything over here? Let me check. Fatigued. I know you're fatigued. Oh, a crate. What's this? Ooh, more weapons. We're gonna check that out later after we explored this little area. Hey Rex, you got something to say? Nothing but rocks, dirt, and lava. Reminds me of Ha ah, yeah, your um breed. They survived really in their natural born planet and I wasn't kind to them. Remember to stay high. <gasps> yeah, you're right. Thank you, Garris. I was just about to drink something. <laughs> <sighs> Best boyfriend ever. <laughs> okay, let's see what's out there. Hmm. Good boyfriend, reminding me to stay hydrated when it's so bloody hot. <laughs> Netherlands, oh my gosh, we're not used to that. Ooh, okay, there's another ass wipe. -y. I can see him. I don't trust it. <laughs> and I'm just, yeah, I fucking knew it. Ha, I was prepared now. Okay, anything? Ooh, another storage locker. Let's try and check it out. Oh, I saw a shooty shoot. Okay, fine. Okay, override successful. More weapons? Yep, light armor. We'll check it out. What the hell? What are you shooting at? I don't see anything. What the feck? Are you guys going nuts in here? Don't want to know. Okay, activate. Oh, whoa, whoa. Is that what you were shooting at? Is it? Yep. Oh, let's get out of here. No, we need the Mako for that. <laughs> oh, shoot. I almost got killed. That's, that, wow. Okay, let me check the other side before we go into the Mako. Because there was another side. Or should we like deal with them first? Okay, run, run to the Mako. You're fatigued, why? Oh, jeez. Okay, run to the other side. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, good, 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 good. We're gonna kill them later. <laughs> let me just check. Ugh, should have killed them already. Hey, upgrade kit. Hey, what? Ooh! We'll check it out. Let me get the Maku. Oh, wait, shall I just do it now? Let me do my equipment real. Ooh, okay. Mm, 
Okay, that's no good. That one is good, but it's a shotgun and I kind of want to give it to Rex. What's this? Let me get that for a shotgun. No, these are fine. That's a grenade. Jewelist, that's no good. I should really make that for Omni Gel, I think. Yeah, let's make that into Omni Gel because we don't need to use that. Okay, what's this? An assault rifle. Let me go to Rex. Because I kind of want to give you a really good shotgun because I feel like that is his primary weapon, which he uses quite a lot. Uh, your pistol. No, I'm going to give Garrus that one. I can give you that one though. Oh, yeah, no, that's good. Um, biotic arm. Can you wear anything? No. Um, should I give you that? The rifle? Yeah, why not? Okay, now go to Garrus. Mm, hurricane. Shall I give him that? The shotgun? Sure. I, I don't feel like you're using it as much anyway. What's this? Uh, you can't wear any of that. No. Is that all, guys? But his accuracy and heat sink are no good. Sure, okay, let's just try. We can always do it again, right? Oh, Jesus, Gary, she scared me. Okay, let's attack these fellas. Mm. Let's go to the Mako right away. I think we got everything here. Is that my wheel or somebody else's wheel? I don't want to know. Okay, get into the vehicle and fucking destroy these. Okay, that's whoa shit. That's one. That's two. Where's the other one? Oh jeez. Okay, we're in the clear. At least it seems. Oh my gosh, jeez. Okay, we're in the clear for now. Uh, what way are we gonna go? Am I going the right way? I think I might be. All right, there's somebody still here trying to shoot me, but I can't see him. Okay, let's just go. Let's see. Am I going the wrong way? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I've been here. Are you kidding? I keep doing this the other way. Please, please. Yes, thank you. Oh, gosh. This is fine. This is totally fine. Like and subscribe, guys. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, come on. We got this. We got it, babe. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see. Can we, uh, let me see if my squad... Oh, I can upgrade. Um, I want some Spectre training. I also want a little bit more pistol. Uh, shotguns. Tactical armor. Yeah, okay. What does this do? Advanced adrenaline boost. Shield boost. Yeah, I want shield boost. Let's go. Um, Garrus? Oh, Rex, sorry. I kind of want to give him, like, he's a tank, so he should, his barrier should be good, his health should be good. Yeah, and why not do a shotgun? Okay, assault rifle. Yes, I want to do you. Mm, but I also want to do electronics, so we can unlock things, and then later we'll do this. Okay, for now it's good, I hope. <laughs> I hope I'm doing something right here. Ah, uh, at least I'm not driving that good. Well, okay. Oh, there's some peepees over there. Backing die! Oh, well, that was a... Uh... Okay, sure, then do that. Just die, thank you. Thankfully, I have a lot of armor in this freaking vehicle. <laughs> okay, there's another one over there. Boom! You what? Okay, they're out. Let's go. Let's see. Yeah, you're gone. Let me trample you. <laughs> this lava freaks me the fuck out. Not gonna lie. Ugh. In Breath of the Wild, I fell into the lava pit so many times. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? What was that? Was that a ship? What was that? Or a giant thing? Worm? I don't know what they were called again. But I've learned in the Codex that those worms we encountered last time were the ones who killed my team on a Zook, was it? Akus, Akus, excuse me. So, I have a new hatred for them. <laughs> okay, let's see... Anybody else? Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, there are many! There's so many of you! Go away, please, thank you. 
Okay. All right. All right. We got this. Oh, Jesus. Die, please. Okay, they're dead. Only this big boy. Colossus. Oh, my God. It's so big. Urgh, fucking kill you. Oh, oh, oh. Am I stuck? Oh. Okay, he's dead. At least he's dead. Okay, go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh, my gosh. That was dumb. <laughs> We got it! We're out! Yay! Well, he did too. Okay, let's see. What else is there? Is there something there? No, just a crane or some sort. I wonder what they used them for. Like, to dig up materials? Were they used for mines? Who knows? But I'm curious. Okay, let's go up. Let's see. Hmm. What is this? This kind of scares me, not gonna lie. Oh great, it's saving. That means hell is coming. Trouble is brewing and we don't like it. <laughs> oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Okay, keep your hands on the wheel, Kim. Okay, there's somebody here. I can see you on my little compass and now I see you here. And I can't shoot you. Oh, I can. What's that? I'm not a trooper. But you're gone now, bitches. Ouch, who's shooting me? They're already dead. Whoa, what's that? Is there anything here? Uh, I don't think so. Whoa, is that a signal tower or something? What is that? Is that where Laria is? I hope there. <laughs> I hope she's there. What's that? Is there anything there? Let me check. Because it seems important somehow. Ah, oh, fatigued. Come on, honey. You can do better than that. Is there anything here? This looks like materials. Is it just grass? It's just grass, huh? Okay, well, guess not, but doesn't work to check. Okay, let's go into the vehicle. Uh, good. All right, let's see. Let's go to the signal tower then, or what seems to be a signal sort of tower. I have no clue what it is. Do I say if I'm scared? <laughs> not gonna lie. Where are we going? Do we want to know? I'm not so sure. Okay, there's somebody in here that's gonna shoot me. Oh, a trooper. Ah! Oh, he already did. Okay, good. Bye! You're nothing to me, peasants! Move! <laughs> Before I remove you! Alright, there's another one. Or at least somebody is up ahead. Hello? Bye! Oh jeez, I missed. How could I have missed? What the fuck? Yikes! Woo! There- Ah! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What are you- What the fuck was that? What happened? Oh my gosh, almost in lava juice! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, what are you doing? Stop! Please stop it! Whoa! 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 I'm not even doing anything! Okay, okay, are we good? Do we have control? Thank you! My god, I didn't want to freaking melt into that lava. Get out the way. <laughs> that was so close. Something there? Yeah, yeah, I'm parked. Is there anything here, like materials? Aw, oh, it looked like it. It's just a lot of, uh, <laughs> rocks and, uh, heat. Get anything to say? 50 degrees hotter and I might start to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Well, me, as a Viking slash Dutchman, I'm very hot, not gonna lie. <laughs> Garrus? I thought Paladin was hot. Where's that? Are we gonna figure that out later? Can't wait. Alright, let's go back into the Mako. Let's go. Good. Oh, yes, thank you. What are those? That looks like a signal tower, though. I wonder what that is, or what it was used for. Oh, jammed. I doubt we can fit through there, but maybe if we... No? That doesn't work? You sure? Ah, damn it! Does that mean we have to walk and go on foot? I don't like that. Like those big get colossal things? They seem strong. I don't want to fight them without the Mako. <laughs> oh great, it's saving again and I don't like it. Let me save too. Um... Yeah. Okay, let's freaking do this! Oh, there's one. I can't reach you. Alright, we're gonna go back to our sniper days. 
Because that wasn't cringy enough. Ah, they got shields? Where are they? Hello? Oh, you're over there. Can you headshot him? Yeah, I did it! Oh, another big boy, and you're gone! Is there anybody else? Hmm, let's go closer. Let's go here, let's go here, let's go here. Okay, duck! Oh, he's there, I feel him. Hello? Hello? Oh, come on. Fine. Okay, get out, get out, wherever you are, you rocket trooper. Okay, we're gonna go around. Come on, Rex. Oh, Fine, we'll do it like this. Bye. Well, that was fun. All right, one of you guys, I don't know where I can do that. No, not graphics. Uh, gameplay, maybe? One of you guys suggested that I should use my squad power usage, not on defensive, but to all, because then they will all use their available talents, and I think that is very helpful for me, so we're gonna do that. Okay, thank you for that comment and suggestion. Really helps me out, guys, thanks. Okay, so let's see how much of a difference it makes. Mm, what's this? Is there anything here? Eh, uh, whoa, well, no, but they're shooting there. Okay. Duck. Okay, I see a sniper up here, so we're gonna snipe right back at them. Okay, he's in the tower. Well, bye! Now you're not! Okay, one more. There you go. Oh, I thought... Ooh, good one! Wow, you did cool! You did good, Rex. Let me get my pistol out, because I love my pistol. Okay, there's somebody still there, though. I sense him. Yep, there's more of you. Damn it, they're too far away. Okay, get your butt out of here, Garrus. Can we just run up? Can we run up? No, we're locked in there. Okay, okay, run, please. Run, 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 run. Okay. Oh boy, there's one over there. Okay, can we use throw or something on him? Because I kind of want to throw him to the infinity. Oh, why doesn't it work? Come on! Well, fine, we'll do it that way. There's somebody still up here. Yep. Oh, jeez. Come on. Thank you, whoever you, one of you did that. Alright, somebody here? Anything that we can use, maybe? I don't think so. Okay, let's go then. Hmm. Oh, Jesus, another one. So many of you here. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay. Bye. Another sort of signal tower. Can we use anything here, maybe? No, somebody's shooting at me again. Okay, let me get my rifle. Jerk. You're out. Bye. Good, that worked. Okay, let's check. Anything? Nope, just a lot of lava. Hmm. All right, off we go then. Maybe over there, let me check. What are these things? What, are we, what were they used for? Do you know? Does anybody know? I sure don't. <laughs> okay, well, we came from there. Yeah, we came from there. Okay, let's go up here. Oh no, this looks like an ambush and I don't like it. Shall we save? I wanna save, I'm scared. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh, what should we equip? I don't know. These like look high points. What's going on? What's this? Oh, cutscene? All right. Oh, I hear something. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh no. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. No offense, whatever you are, but I don't like you. Oh jeez, what? Is it the claw? Spaceship? It's the Colossal? Are you freaking kidding? I don't have my Mako vehicle now. How am I supposed to deal with this? Oh shit. Okay, there's a sniper up there. And I'm jammed. Shit. 
Sniper later because a crawler is right up here. Ah, oh, Jesus. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, kill it. Oh, another one. Well, how many are there? Oh, Jesus. How many are there? Ah! Okay, can we have a boost or a shield boost? Oh, uh, I already have that. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, is it out? Oh, another one of you! Oh jeez, oh jeez. Heidi height. Okay, okay, this is fine. Uh, it's recharging. Uh, I can't do shit. What can you do? Shield boost? Shield boost yourself, Garrus. While we wait. Oh my god. Rex is almost dead. Damn it. He's dead! Shit! Oh, this is terrible! Oh my god, this is intense, I don't like it. Okay, there's the Get Stalker. Okay, where is it? Ah, oh, feck. Okay, okay. Oh, kill it, kill it, kill it with fire! Okay, it's dead. Ah! You're right there! Mm. <laughs> this is so intense and I don't like it! Okay, there's still the sniper in the tower. I'm gonna heal us. Okay. What the fuck? Can we shoot it from here? Oh, the one in the tower is gone. Oh no, those blasts seem dangerous. That doesn't do anything, does it? Can we just make a run for it? We lost Rex! We lost our Krogan! Okay, let's go! Go, go, go! Shepard! Okay, can we reach you from here? Nope! Oh. Go, 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 you idiot. Okay, we're here. There's a lot of you there. Oh, shit. Yeah, whatever. Oh, shit. There's a lot of you. Okay. Yes! Oh, my God! Oh, he's dead, isn't he? Okay, use your shield boost. Oh, no. It's all up to me. Shit. I'm not gonna lie, but shit. Throw your fucking grenade! Throw fucking grenade! Great. Oh my god, this is awful. Okay, use uh, whatever. Do whatever. Just shoot! Just shoot him! Just shoot him! Okay, hide, hide the feck out. Okay, what else? Uh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, throw. Did that work? There's another one there. I saw him. I can't shoot him. Let me just finish this one first. I don't like that one. Okay, close, close, close. Okay, go, 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 get it. He's out. Okay, the bad boy, the big bad boy's out. Now we can make it. We just need to deal with these assholes. Oh, come on, don't hide behind your fucking shield. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right. There's gotta be more of you. I'm so sorry, Garrus. But you were like hit one shot it. Couldn't help you. Okay, come on. Should I have paid more attention to their health? Probably. Are you gonna say something about it in the comments? Yes. Am I gonna read them? Yes. Am I gonna do better next time? I don't know. Oh come on, where's that freaking trooper? Okay, let's just go. Should be two left. Let me get my shotgun, actually. Oh, fuck. Hello? Can you shoot? Thanks. I don't want to die now. There's another one right over there. Oh, shit. Is he gonna go around? He's gonna go around. Uh, fine. I did it anyway. I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh, good. You, where are you? Jesus, guys, you scared me. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Are you guys okay? I did it for you, guys. We won, and I did it for you. Remember to stay high. Yes, I will. You too. <laughs> All right, let me save because Jesus, that was intense. <sighs> I'm okay. We're good. We made it. <laughs> Barely, but we did. Let me check this out. See if there's anything here. Is it just lava again? 
Okay, let me get my pistol. Jeez, Rex. But you guys were one-shotted. I couldn't do anything. Jeez, I'm glad I didn't get one-shotted. Okay, is there anything here? I doubt it. Let's go inside whatever this is. Seems like some sort of mining tunnel. Is it? Who knows? Open. Do we want to go in here? Probably not. Are we gonna? Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> oh boy. What's this? Saving content? Okay. Great. We love that way you do it. Wow, what is this? Guys, I'm so sorry that I uh, didn't help you out back there. But you know, don't get in the way to get freaking one-shotted. Jesus. Maybe it was my fault. I didn't direct them right. Oh, there's a beggar. Ooh. Oh, it's jammed. Fantastic. Mm, okay. Yeah, okay. Hi. You weirdo. Okay. Well, that was one. There's probably more because we don't know. Oh, well, there's one. What's this? What's this? Can I shoot that? Ah. Oh, well, a little bit late, but we did it. What's this? Oh, I'm getting shot again. What's this? Oh no, we can use it to shoot. Oh, hello. It's a get sniper? Well, he gone now! Alright. What is that blue thing? Hmm. Oh, an elevator? I've never visited a before. Aside from the citadel, I mean. Me neither, so we're in this together. Yay! Let's get moving. Okay, he's done with us, Garrus. <laughs> Just lead the way. Okay, you're done with me too. Fine, I see how it is. Let me check the blue bit over there. Can we go there? Should I? Should I attempt to? Am I gonna get electrified or something? Is it water? Oh. Can I shoot it? I can, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, well, let's go to the elevator then. I don't know what it is, but I bet we're about to find out anyway. Activate, please. <laughs> you guys look so cute! your little pistols again guys i'm really sorry i let you to die there i really am i'll try and do better i promise i don't make empty promises okay at least i don't intend to okay come on this takes uh, a little bit of a while isn't it okay let's see hey medical kit oh jeez, i'm gonna need it it seems okay get down oh what a go oh geez. Okay. Shoot! Didn't work. Shoot! Didn't work. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Throw. Yikes. We can't even get there. Are you kidding? Hi. Now you don't have anything. Oh, don't remind me, I hate sterile white. No offense, guys, if you're into sterile white, but I would like some color into my home. Um, okay. I want a blue kitchen, not gonna lie. Like the cabinets blue and stuff, love that. So cozy and cute and homey. That's my goal. If I ever have a blue kitchen, I've made it in life. <laughs> what the heck? What's this? I wanted to grab a drink, but never mind. Is it stuck? Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. No, I want this one. What the hell? More blue stuff. Uh, hello? Oh! Could somebody help me? Please? Is that Lo It's Loria. Holy shit. What are you doing? Can you hear me out there? Yeah. I'm trapped. I need help. Yeah, I can see that. Um... Yeah? Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Um, do we trust you, though? How did you end up in there? Yeah, how did you? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up. Oh. So I hid in here. Defense? Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I can not believe it. I activated the tower's defenses. Ah. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. Clever. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. 
I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. But can we trust you, though? Your mother is working with Saren. She is. Whose side are you on? Mm -hmm. What? I am not on anybody's side. Uh-huh. I may be Benizia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. Do we trust her, guys? I kind of do, though. Okay, well, sure. We just need to figure some way past this energy field. Yeah, how? It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the geth. I know. When I turned it on, I must have hit something you told I wasn't me. supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, okay, please. Stay calm. You're repeating yourself. I'll get you out. We'll find some way to help you. Yeah, somehow. There's a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. Okay. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Crap. Be careful. There was a Krogan with the Geth. Uh -oh. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Rex, was it you? Have you been sneaky sneaking around my back? Nah, Rex, I don't believe that. You're so cute. I love you. <laughs> okay, well, let's try and find a way out for her. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, come on. Whoa, what does he have for a weapon? Oh my god. Okay, let's go find that crate and kill some baddies. Bye. Mm, it's jammed. Great. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, thank you, whoever did that. Okay, is there anything we can use here? Can you not shoot? Who's shooting me? Can't see. Don't care. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go and enter the coat later, because I want to see what's out there. And who's shooting at me? You are. Oh, come on, that was a total good shot. Okay, let me get my, uh, this. This is dumb. Hey, you die. Thank you. Is anybody here still? Yeah, you are! Uh. Good. Alright. Let me check. Boom. Just for the fun. <laughs> What's that? Uh, no, we don't need that. Hey, storage locker. Good. Yay! Easy as pie. Oh, we'll check that out later. What's this? What's this? Hey, another one. Good. Uh huh. Ah, yay! We did it. Okay, guys, we'll check it out after saving her. Okay? Is she gonna join us as a companion? That would be great. I don't think she's actually working with her mother, but of course, I could be wrong. Don't tell me. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else here. Okay, let me check that code la laser mine thing. Whatever it is. Okay, let's see. What the fuck is this? Do we want to know? Oh. 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 Oh, so it's memory. Okay. This, this. Ah, uh, okay. Um... Oh, I did it! <laughs> I did it! I am really smarty at times. Sometimes I'm smarty. Doesn't happen a lot, but yay, I'm proud of myself for that. That was... didn't took as long as I thought it would be. <laughs> yay! Good, because that fight we went, we took on earlier, <laughs> that took a while. What's this? Can we go here? Hello? Oh, okay. Are you guys excited to meet her? I am. You don't uh, look so excited. You don't trust her, huh? You can tell me. You can tell me. Psst, whisper it in my ear. Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. I'm awesome. That's why. And uh, <laughs> superior firepower. <laughs> I want to do that. Can we do that? I'm going to do that. We blasted through with the mining laser. Yeah. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Obviously. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Do we trust you, though? I kind of do. But still. Whoop. Okay. Uh. Ouch. You okay, man? You have a nice pants. Where did you get them? I love them. Are those boots? Any idea how we get out of this place? Oh, sorry. There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. Okay. I was focusing on the wrong things. I, I still cannot believe all this. 
Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Who knows? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously, he wants you to help him find it. Cool. The conduit, but I don't know. You don't know? What you don't know? You don't know anything about it? I know that. These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. What? We're fucked. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Okay, great! Well, we're getting out of here. Uh, we need an escape plan. Isn't the escape plan just to escape? Uh, okay, I don't want to take any chances, so we're gonna need an escape plan. Joker, oh. get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Yeah, mister! Aye, aye, Commander, secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. Okay. Eight minutes? If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> yeah, let's blame him. Blame Joker. That's fine. Okay. Um... Are we uh, gonna live to see another day, guys, or is this it? Garrus, um, Rex, you're kind of in the way. I want to do a, this a confession. Garrus, I love you. Uh, I know we haven't talked a lot, but I still love you. Okay, great. What's this? Oh, boy. Hey, it's the Krogan guy. He's not as cute as Rex. Not at all. Yeah, you're the cutie. Not him. He's green. Or don't. That would be more fun. Bitch, I got one of my own. The ruins come down, what do you want? Listen, we have other priorities right now. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Yeah. Exhilarating, isn't it? Okay, he's crazy. Great. Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Had the doctor over. Um, no. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. Okay, you want to fight now? I'm not giving her up. She'll stay with us, thanks. Thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Uh, no, no. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. If not, doesn't matter. He doesn't need her alive? Fuck. Uh... Oh, I'm dying! You up. Jesus, mate! Can, I, can we? Yes, thanks. Okay, um. Shield boost, please. Uh, you use immunity. Use also shield because I don't want us to die in here. Kill him, kill him, kill him! Fucking kill him! Kill him while he's on the ground! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Okay, he's dead. The big boy is dead. Okay, who else? Oh, you. Bia, don't wanna be a. We did it! Oh no, what? Why? Oh, thank god. What happened? How? Okay, fine by me. Oh shoot, Joker! Help a girl out! Okay, run! Oh my god. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind the doc. Bye! See ya! It was nice knowing you. <laughs> Oh crap, that ain't good, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> oh no, oh Jesus. Why are you, oh no. Okay, just go, just go. Oh, the Normandy's there. Thank you, Joker, you're the best boy ever. Best pilot there is. Top of his class, okay. Are you limping, Shepard, are you okay? You're just fatigued, <laughs> like always. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Of course, of course she's fatigued. <laughs> well, we got Loria. Can't wait to talk to her. We did something close, right. Too close, Commander. Oh. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. It's fine. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? He's just, he likes scolding me. It's fine, it's our thing, you know. Well, it eases the tension. He's not a jerk. I love Joker. Uh, he saved us. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I think so, too. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. That's fine. You'll learn. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. Both. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Hmm. Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. 
I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. What did you learn? I'm so curious. Okay, 50 years? Just how old are you exactly? Oh, that's rude. I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. <sighs> Damn. Only? I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century <laughs> may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. Oh, really? That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Why not? Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Okay, but what did you learn? Because I'm curious, and I I'm not gonna dismiss your theories. Let me, let me know. Did your research turn up anything interesting? Yeah, digits. What is interesting digits. is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, mm -hmm. and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy. Why of would clues. they do that? But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. What? So there were even more, and they just mysteriously vanished as well? I don't know. Let me just ask. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. Which is? It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. So when is the next cycle coming? Huh, we're in a hurry here. That's so mean. Who came before them? Do you know? Or is it all... all or is it the same case where everyone just... Where they erased everything about them? Who knows? If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? Yeah. I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. How? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Hmm. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. So they didn't even, even build and it! Then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. But what about the Keepers? They Because when they found the citadel once again, all that was left, like that seemed to be a living creature was the keeper and they don't know where they come from and there's new ones coming in the citadel each time as well and nobody knows where they're coming from so what about the keepers if the protheans didn't make them who did are they even older than the protheans i'm so confused i love it but i want to know more okay i know what happened shut up and i'll tell you okay um i can help you they were wiped out by a race of sentient machines the reapers right Oh, well, I knew the, that. The Reapers? But I have never heard of. How do you know this? Of what course, evidence do you have? Of course, of course, they wiped every little bit about them. Of course, I know. I knew that. The beacon. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind oh. of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. Oh. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. Oh. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. Mm. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. I know, right? This isn't helping us find Saren, or the uh, conduit. Jealous? Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my jealous. scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit, or Saren. So what good are you? No, I like her, I'm gonna be nice. You can still help us. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. I think so too. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. 
I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. With me. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. I think so too. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Right, of course. Well, welcome. That is so rude. Great and all are alien. Who are we, Ashley? <laughs> welcome aboard. Ah, welcome aboard. Jesus. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Yeah, it is. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. Go to bed. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. Hey, then. It is probably just Good, mental but... exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Caden is a little bit roughly spoken, uh, but he means well, I think. Anyway, that was why I was like, oh, Caden. Uh, we'll talk later. Yeah, go ahead. We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Get out of here. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? Oh, Jesus. Do we have to? Do we have to tell them everything? Well, I kind of want to be a good specter for now, sure. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Hi. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Of course. Do we trust the council? Or are they just stupid? <laughs> she wants to help us. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Yeah. Benezia would never allow Theron to kill her daughter. You don't know that. Maybe she doesn't know. Or that. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. Exactly. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary? It Shepard? was not my fault. I needed to get her out. What do you want from me? I don't care about the disconnect. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm so conflicted. I'm so tempted. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I don't need this. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. Listen, I was feeling saucy, so. Bye. <laughs> oh, am I gonna be a renegade person after all? Oh, I don't need this. Goodbye. Leave me alone. Mm, can we talk to more people? Exact. Actually, no, we don't want it. I came from there. I'm an idiot. Jesus. Idiot, Kimberly. Jeez. Okay. Where am I going? Can we talk to Joker some more? I love Joker. Heat. What's that? Examine. Heat load. Okay. Some more codex. Okay, give me that. Hey, Joker, we good? Thanks for getting me out of there, mate. Uh, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I can't uh. recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. Okay, I get it. What do you want, really? Here, earning medals is hard. You sure you want that? If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. <laughs> hmm. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave too. Yeah, you Spent don't the want last that. Seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. Nope. So seven Commander, weeks. Why don't you tell me why you're really here? I just want to say hi. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this no, is going. You no. You want me? I, Top I, of my class yeah. in school. I, uh, oh, yeah, but no, 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 no. <laughs> Hey, Gunnery, look outside. Another bit of a codex. Open up. <laughs> my cat is cuddling my toes. <laughs> yes, you'll get attention later. I promise. Okay, maybe over here, right? Shall we talk and try and talk to Caden? We'll do that later. Replenish. Okay. Is she here? Hey. Yes, Commander. Oh, she's is not something here. You need? Is she in the back? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. You here? Yeah, you are. Let's talk. Hi. Hey, babe. Commander, are you coming uh, to check up on me? No. <laughs> yeah, I am. I was worried. You look much better. How are you feeling? Yeah. Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. Good. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's great. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. Yeah, she does seem to. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. 
if you hadn't shown up. Ah, oh, don't mention it. We, you're kind of necessary to the plot, I feel, so don't mention it. I'm just glad we got there in time. Yeah. So am I. <laughs> I bet. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. They don't trust but anybody. I like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Hmm. I trust her, guys. Am I a fool to trust her? But I do, so I know. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. If you stab me in the back, woman. <laughs> I'd like to talk about you. Yeah. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Yeah, please me? do. I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. Oh, come on. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Must get lonely. Do you like it? I, I'm pretty sure she likes it. Must get lonely then? Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Does it? Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. Mm. But I was always careful. Yeah, be wary. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. Girl, I feel you. I'm an introvert, so I know. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sort of joking, but then I'm not. I really do need my me time. That is why I'm talking to a camera most of the time and talk like this because I'm comfortable in the privacy of my own room, home. Oh, Jesus, I need to stop. Uh, do you like your job? Well, why is that? You don't like other people? No, I don't I think that's it. I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. Oh. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. You don't want to? Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. Mm. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. Well, it's not foolish. Do you like it? Must have made her mad. Mmm... Well... Yeah, let me try. I bet that pissed her off. Yeah. No. Oh. When I told her, she simply said, A daughter must rebel against her mother, Liara. Aww. It is part of the natural order. I kinda love but that. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about Me them. Me too. That is why I find you so fascinating. <laughs> you. you were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. I'm fascinating to you, am I? Well, yeah, I can see why that is fascinating. Because she said a less, well, capable person would probably be completely destroyed by the beacon. So I'm curious. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab Please somewhere. Please don't. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, <laughs> I never cute. meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Relax. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. I was. Joking? Oh, by the goddess. How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete... No, you fool. just don't know the ways of us Now you know why yet. I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always Aww. seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Same. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. What? No, it's adorable. Okay, let me talk about your mom. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Yeah, why? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. They're involved now. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. If you want to bring back the Reapers, I'm not sure if you want that. Maybe she's just evil. <laughs> this hurts you, doesn't it? Well, obviously it's None her mom. This makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her, and this was not like her. Something changed. Did Saren corrupt her or anything? I'd like to know more about the Asari. I do. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. Really? We were instrumental in forming the Council, mm -hmm. and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. That's a good mindset. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. Oh. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Which are? What rumors? 
Like what? Yeah, I haven't Most heard. Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. What? We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. So we can have babies together? <laughs> Fuck yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. You do it. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. <laughs> we can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. But she said there is no, there are no male and female, they're mamo. Okay, what about the other parent? What happens to your partner after the union? Yeah. Every relationship is different. <laughs> Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways after Get it. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Hmm, what about the age difference? I want to know about the age difference. You Asari live for a thousand years. Yeah. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapien species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Aww. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. That's beautiful, but also still so sad. It must be horrible to watch your lover die. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. So... I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Another species, Think right. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered space flight and left our home world. Union with our own kind oh. is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Really? Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, mm. or so conventional wisdom would hold. Right. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great insult. Really? It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Ah, that's awful. It's so funny because all of the old royalty, like the English royalty and stuff like that, they also they always wanted to mate with their own pure bloods, and it was a good thing to be a pure blood. And here it's a bad, awful thing that they don't want they're ashamed of. Oh man, you don't know that. It's terrible. Then why did you do it? Well, you don't know that. You don't know what happened. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. If something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. Who knows? You might be right. Will I we know? Are, but I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Mm -hmm. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Damn. Well, that was really interesting. My god, all of these species have such great backstories. I love it. Well, thank you for telling me, and I will check up on you later. I should go. I should. Goodbye, Shepard. Goodbye. Okay, I feel like I'm losing the light all of a sudden. Uh, great. Shall we talk to the other companions just before we go on? Like, after every mission, I feel like I have to talk to people. It was the same in Dragon Age. So let's try and talk to Caden and see if he wants to talk to me now. Who knows? Let's see. Oh, he does. Leda, please don't try to kiss me. No. Commander? No. Do you have a minute? Uh, for what? I don't. Okay, fine. I'm listening. I always make time for my office. Do I? Off the record, I think there's something wrong. Like what? This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get back up from the council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. 
okay, I'm not gonna tell you to not worry about it. What do you expect me to do? The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. Mm -hmm. It's funny, we finally get out here and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Cute way to look at it. I'm not. Uh, don't seem even pressed by the cute the danger. Uh, I don't want to insult him, but I don't want to flirt with him either, because you know I'm holding out for somebody very special. So I'm just gonna do old-fashioned because I don't want to flirt. Well, well, you're a romantic. Did you sign on for the Why am I flirting with him? Secure man's Did I do it? space. Yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves or, you know, no. for justice. Go, go. Or maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Brain camp? Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. That's uh, all right. What did they train you for? It's all right. Tell me about it. Yeah. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't Shh. last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Mm -hmm. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. Right. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Holy shit. What was the survival rate? Seems like you beat the odds. How many didn't make it? Yeah. Out of a hundred, maybe sixty have no effect. Thirty suffer adverse effects. Little things like <sighs> brain cancer. That's rough. The other ten show enough ability to augment with implants. Not always permanent, though. Not like the cancer. Next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. But how's a kid supposed to deal with that? A station at the edge of human space. <laughs> Sounds rough. <laughs> uh, friends? There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone. They were all there. dead. Brain tumors. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. Mm, you need that. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Time to talk then. So. I <laughs> I kind of want to do that. Can I? Yeah, I want to talk that. Yeah, I want to pick that. You were all teenagers. I'm sure you found other ways to occupy the time. I'm not the sort who does that kind of thing, Commander. Not lightly, anyway. Oh, God. There was a girl I spent a lot of time with, but we kept our clothes on. Piranha. Who's that? She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful. So what happened? Did you mess it up? Like you, I guess. Ma'am. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> no, where's Garrus? I don't know. Ah, eh, eh, yeah, yeah. Listen, nothing against Caden. He seems very sweet, cute, sophisticated. Sophisticated. <laughs> he seems like a proper good dude. But I'm into aliens now, so uh, shall we ask about it, or is he gonna flirt with me some more? <sighs> Sounds like she was special to you. Yes. She was. Maybe she felt the same. Wait, you didn't even. But things never felt together. Aww. Training, you know. <laughs> Sounds rough. Okay. Um, jump zero. Jump zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah. What was it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. Mm. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. All right, and exposures? You know of any intentional exposures for certain? Yeah. No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. Mm. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. Right. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Oh my gosh, that's a lot to think about. 
Okay, well, sounds rough. Go on. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. <laughs> anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. Well, I'm interested. I wanted to get to know you a little better. That's all. Thanks for the talk, Caden. Well, you're welcome. Man. Just stop flirting with me. You, uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? Oh, no! I don't want to flirt with him, but I don't want to be rude to some degree. What do you think? Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No. No, neither of these two to some degree. Of course. But I don't enjoy it with everyone. We'll talk again later. I'll, uh... I'll need some time to process that, Commander. I'm not even flirting! But, yeah. I'd like that. Dude! Stop being so thirsty for my commander! No, you can't have her. You can't. <laughs> She's not yours! Stop looking at me! <laughs> Alright. No, no, no way. Why are you standing by the sleeping parts? I don't want to know. Oh, no. Okay, let's go uh, talk to Tolly and Ashley and uh, Garrus, most likely. Garrus, I'm sorry. I have to tell you something. Caden flirted with me and I don't know what to make of it and it's awkward. Can you maybe talk to him? Great. Rex, Granddaddy-o, please help me out. Can you, like, shotgun Caden again in the face? That would be great. Thanks, mate. <laughs> so, we've got Saren on the run. Yes, we do. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Oh, it's confident. Blood. He's rotten. To the core. Yeah. I could tell as soon as I met him. Mm hmm? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. Okay, fair enough. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. Okay. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. Mm hmm? They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. Did he recruit you? I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. Right. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables. Looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. Yeah, what was he doing? What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. What? Why? A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never did spoke them, to then? anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Good call. Didn't even wait wow, that's serious. Paid. A Krogan not wanting to get paid and getting the hell out of there? Now that's serious. Whose ship was it? Well, yeah. There was a Volus trading oh. vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. Mm, Volus are not in charge of, like, defensive and stuff like that. They have to trade for defenses. Were the Torians there to help them out? Did they kill the Torians? Who knows? I'm... Cargo. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? Mm -hmm. I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. Why would he be there? There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, Has to. I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it soon. Mm, still odd. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. Mm. But my instincts were right. Yeah, they were. Every other merc on that mission <gasps> turned up dead within a week. What? Every day. Were they experimented on? Are your people really dying? Yeah, we know that. We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Um... Did we talk about this already? Lots of species yeah, have I left think their we homes did. and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settled, yeah, we so did. we leave. 
Okay, know, let me just ask about this, but I think we already talked about it. What can you tell me about the genophage? Yeah. All I know. We did. Every Krogan is infected. Thank you. Every so long, Rex. Thank you. That little piece Shepard. about Saren? Very helpful, actually. Hey, Ashley, you have something to say? Commander? How we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story mm -hmm. about her and her mom not talking. Their family, right? Well, not all family is all cozy and comfortable, Ashley. I believe her. I think she's being straight with us. Or at least I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't be cruel. What the hell? Ashley! I don't think she's used to teasing. Good natured or otherwise. No fun, Commander. You're awful! Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I, I oh. was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. Okay, sure. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right, here comes. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. Mm -hmm. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Because they're aliens? Is that it? Why? Because they're not... No, I'm just gonna go full because they're not aliens? You don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, And if they weapons. were human, it was fine. You're out of the line, you don't trust aliens, my god, I'm just gonna ask. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. Why not? Well, we, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. No, I don't think so. Of course, you gotta be able to rely on yourself, of course, but with allies, allies you go stronger, you go bigger, you go, you can accomplish so many things with allies and help and people, so no. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. Yeah. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. How cynical. Not necessarily. I don't see that as inevitable. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do no! it. No! As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. Oh my god! It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. No. Listen, my dog will be the first to get out of there. Well, I don't have a dog. But I will make sure my dog will be safe. Honestly, my cats, you know, you know what I mean. No! <sighs> I've heard this before. Why do you feel like that? These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. Right. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. Yeah. No, ma'am. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. Hmm, just one rotation? I'm not gonna say you deserve better, because honestly, out of all of the people here, I like you the least. And maybe she'll grow on me, and maybe there's something more behind her story, that why those beliefs are so deeply grounded, and I feel like we're gonna find out, but right now... Okay. That's odd. Your record is spotless, and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. Okay, what about the military family? I come from a military family, too. My parents were both Navy. Anybody in your family we might know? Couldn't say, Commander. We probably have a lot in common. You join up to carry on the tradition? Uh, to see space, to serve the Alliance... Well, honestly, no. I want to see space. No, the future of humanity is out here. There's so much we haven't seen yet. Mm. Yeah. I still remember my first field exercise on Titan. When we hit mud, the reality hit me. 
I'm the first person who ever stood here. <laughs> then my drill instructor kicked me in the <laughs> ass. I went face first into the muck. He spent the next five minutes chewing me out for gold breaking. What's gold breaking? Don't tell me you had Gunny Ellison. <laughs> He's the only one who uses that word to describe shirking duty. <laughs> Both of you. Oh, Lord. You went to the Makapog boot camp, too? Probably. Yeah. Gunny Ellison's still reaming out recruits down there. Kicking ass and using words like inveigle and pusillanimous. <laughs> oh, well, we have something in common. But you ha Just shut up, though. No. I don't understand your feelings. I I'm trying to, but you will have to be able to work with aliens. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're gonna have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. Ah, well that's good. I like that attitude. Thank you for that. I don't think kissing Torians will be necessary. I'll be doing that! <laughs> you never know, Commander. <laughs> okay, well thanks, Ash. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Ma'am. Well, that was kind of funny. That was fun. Shall we talk to Garrus? I'm running out of time, but I want to talk to my baby boy. Okay. Commander, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, about Caden. Can you kick him in the face for me? I'm joking. <laughs> Why did you want to be a C-Sec officer in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Such as? Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice. Wanted to help people. Good. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big oh, arrest. Oh, really? He's taking my resignation pretty hard. Uh, yeah, I can understand that. Especially when you're following into your parents' footsteps and then you stray away from that. It can be hard, well, for the parents. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. And it's your own life. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right, or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Sarah. What? No. You're he nothing like him. I becoming a specter when I was younger for the same reasons. <laughs> Sorry, my cat was making a lot of noise there. Anyway, a specter, though. You were asked to be a specter? Yeah. Well, I was targeted as a possible specter candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't. Aww, that... He despises the specters. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. <laughs> no offense. Oh, crap. My dad-in-law doesn't like me. Well, too bad. Damn it. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. Oh, he can't. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Forget about it. Well, it's probably true. He's actually quite right, because I feel like CSEC can't do the things we can, so exactly. You're a quick learner, Garrus. Oh. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. Oh, I bet you are. <laughs> All right, guys, don't worry. We're going to talk to Tolly and everybody else. Um, is there only Tolly left, though? Not sure. Anyway, we're going to do that in the very next episode. I'm unfortunately out of time. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm really enjoying these episodes so far. Um, I have launched a Discord. Uh, if you're interested in that, I'll leave it down in the description where you can talk uh, about all the episodes. Uh, pitch new ideas for future episodes, future videos, anything like that. Post memes, whatever you want. And uh, I will see you there. There's a Mass Effect playlist right over here in case you missed the rest. And there's some Resident Evil for you right over there as well. If you like the video, please subscribe because it really helps me out. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the very next episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Okay, bye! <laughs>